back to basics mom here well this is video two in a three video series um, of stuff that I was either gifted or found at a local crafty garage sale so this is the second box which it's so ginormous it probably doesn't even fit into the entire frame so I don't even know what's at the bottom of this box to be honest so we are going to discover it together so let's jump right in. First off, there's this nice little pin. This will be great for um, storing some cards or maybe I can alter it as a gift. So it's really a beautiful tin. All right. Huh, you know what? I think I just bought this at the garage sale I just went to. It's probably in that bag, but it is. Oh well, see? This is what happens when you don't go through what you have before you go shopping. Because I know for sure that this, at least part of this one, is in there. Oh well, still love it. It's cute. There's this one. These are so cute. Don't, what is it called? Unforgettable. This one, let's see if the name of it's on here. This one's called Doodle This. This one called Mini Mates. Very cute. There's this one. This one goes with, I have the punch called Totally Tabs. Oh, here's some little boxes of stuff. Oh, this is an alphabet. These are cute. Very nice. Another one. Oh, these are some reinkers. Cool. Oh, one of these, which I already have one of these, but you know, we'll make it put it in a little gift bag or something like this one don't know where this is from great impressions there's that one some little minis some little sayings all oh, these sentiments are cute don't know if you can read those These are some wedding stamps. Bride. And a cake. These are from 2004, so. Another little baggie. I don't know if you can see those. There's those. Oh, these are cute. That's another Stampin' Up! set called Cute as a Bug. So those are fun. Oh, what's this? Oh, these are the eyelet kit. I don't usually use these, but they're nice tools to have with the little hammer and the eyelets and everything. So I don't own any of that because I'm not really into those, but it's nice to have. Ooh, a whole bunch of acrylic blocks. These are nice. Nice. Always use more acrylic blocks. Oh, I'm so excited for this set because I'm eyeballing a similar set called All Wrapped Up, um, but Stampin' Up! has a new set very similar to this, and I love the goldfish, especially, um, and I have a dye that's similar, but I love the goldfish, the candy, it should be gar jar full of flowers, you can make a little jar full of candy, bugs, whatever, so I like that, 
Another set of alphabets. Alphabets, not bits. Very nice. I just got this part of this set too when I went to that garage sale, which you'll see on my next video. But I have the t the punch that goes for these. So that's awesome. But yeah, I already own that punch. These are fun. This is polka dots and petals. Those are super cute. Looks like birthday and baby carriage and stuff. Baby shower. But there's, I like, the, I don't need the shower stuff anytime soon, but there's gifts and presents and stuff. This one's fun. And this one. Some little small stamps for birthday. Ooh, this is a cool background stamp. I like this one. It's like a checkerboard, kind of a grungy checkerboard like that. This one's pretty. I like this one, celebrate, and a little envelope with the flowers and candles. That's fun. I like this one. It's got some cute snowflakes. Oh, another big background stamp. I almost bought one similar to this. birthday. Sorry, don't go so fast. More birthday. Some circles and whatnot. These are fun little borders and circles and stuff with dots it's kind of hard to see there it's a little packaging's a little sticky but that's fun Some fun little trees and stuff Some more little fun flowers oh i like this butterfly i might have just bought one just like this at that garage sale not sure we'll find out this is pretty. It's kind of, it's a little, kind of a, I don't know what this is, like a Lego looking dotty kind of funky thing. Well, now I have two of these punches, so I'll have to give one of those away, but I already own this. I think I own the small. Maybe I don't own the small. Maybe I have the bigger one. I'll have to see. I cannot remember. And let's see. Some chipboard. And some funky letters. These are little like metal letters. Bookmark kind of stuff. A bunch of ink pads. A circle punch, which is kind of nice because this is pretty common size and I don't own a punch this size. I mean, I have my Sizzix um, circle dies on my Big Shot, but I do not have a punch like that. And oh, these are kind of cute. So I don't know if I'll keep all of these or not. I might donate some. There's a lot of like miscellaneous ink pads. Um, and stuff. But the thing I also was kind of excited about was these, um, the pearly chalk 
set. So I thought those were um, a good deal. It's the one with the little um, cotton balls. So you can use, use those. So kind of excited about that. And then, yeah, there's just some miscellaneous inks and some washi tape. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Just another, another washi, kind of some wild ones. I'll have to test out these ink pads. Oh, a couple of distress inks. I have the little ones, but I don't have um, any of the big ones. We'll have to see if they're inky yet. Yep. Oh, and the other thing I got from the same gal that gave me this which I was really excited to see that they worked was I got this huge thing of the old Stampin' Up! ink pads plus another one. Plus there's nine more. There's all these plus nine more. And all the ones I have checked have still been damp. Like I could use them. And I'm really happy about that because these are the ones with the old um, fabric pad instead of the foamy ones that are new, which just do not work for me. I have tried every trick in the book and I hate them. There's just, I, I just, I don't like them. I, I'm sorry if you're a Stampin' Up! fan. Um, I love Stampin' Up! Their current inks that they're selling. They're beautiful. They're bright, vibrant colors. They're great for doing watercolor techniques but I cannot stamp with them for anything. So I've got these. Um, I'm gonna make some ink refresher, which I'll post about that maybe later. Um, there's a couple of recipes online. I've seen just some stuff you can spray on some ink pads to make it a little juicier. Again, loosen up any dried ink. So I'll be trying that on these. And I need to go through and catalog some of these stamps. Now I'm not a big fan of wood mount stamps, so I might, be investing in some easy mount which I have not wanted to do that until this time because easy mount is kind of expensive um, but since these were all gifted to me I think I can probably justify it otherwise we'll see how it goes just um, taking the stamps themselves off the blocks so that is it for me today for this go around Hope you're having a good day. Find something crafty to do, and I will talk to you soon. Be back with part three.